talk to me about the leader and Angela Rayner, the deputy leader. They're going to be making um, statements, um, I believe, later on today. And they're saying in The Times that Boris Johnson was right about levelling up. You used to be the shadow levelling up secretary. Do you think he was right? I think, in fairness to Boris Johnson, who I'm no fan of at all, what he did in 2019 was recognise that in large parts of the country, like here in Wigan, the contribution that we've got to make has been written off for far too long and that for too many people, geography is destiny. The problem is what then happened was he did absolutely nothing about it. And what we're announcing today is that we will extend and hand power to every part of the country, not just some, so that people can genuinely be in charge of their own destiny and start to rebuild this country again. OK, let me talk about housing then, can I? Um, you are saying that you will crack down on second home owners um, if you win the next election. It's going to be a bit tricky, given what's happening with Angela Rayner, isn't it, and the fact that the police want to uh, look at a further investigation into her council house that she bought. Well, Angela's been clear that that was her home and she's taken tax and legal advice and issued a very strong statement that no wrongdoing was done. In fact, she said that this was baseless and that it was a smear. What we're proposing around second homes and particularly around Airbnbs is that we should tilt the balance of power back towards first time buyers and people who own their own homes to live in. Far too many people are shut out of home ownership at the moment, a whole generation effectively kept off the housing ladder. And we want to make sure it's much easier for them to be able to buy their own home and have that forever family home that most people desperately want. And what about th those that have got those second homes in order for it to be their pension, let's say, to take some of the weight away from the government and uh, the cost of the massive cost of pensions in this country? What would you say to them? Well, at the moment, what we're seeing, because the, of the Liz Truss experiment that crashed the economy and sent mortgages through the roof, that a lot of those people have now found that that doesn't pay, it doesn't help to contribute towards their pension. And we're seeing many of those landlords having to sell up, which is putting real pressure on the buy-to-let market and the private rented sector, which increasingly resembles a wild west. We think the government should act in two ways. We think they should seek to ensure that there is far more genuinely affordable buy-to-let housing available, uh, and we've set out plans to achieve that. But we also think that there should be much greater regulation of the private rented sector so that people have the protections that they deserve, not just subject to eviction for no reason, a few weeks' notice, uh, the right to, to make alterations to their own home, the right to get repairs done in decent time. These are all things that the government has repeatedly promised. They failed to deliver on them. And if they won't, Labour will. So um, if you've got a second home, watch out if Labour's in charge. No, it's not about coming coming after people. It's about having a fair system where everybody has a chance to get on. At the moment, we've got an entire generation of young people who are really struggling. They're paying very, very high rents, not just in their early 20s and into late 20s, as I did, but in, well into their 30s with a family with no real security. You know, if you're evicted from a private rented flat in London or Manchester with young kids. It's not just a question of finding somewhere else to live, which is difficult, and finding a new home. It's also moving your children from school and all the disruption that that entails with childcare and everything else. We think people deserve proper rights. We think everyone deserves a shot at home ownership, and that's why we're determined to prioritise the many, so, not just the few. OK, so what would happen then if you had got a second home and Labour was in charge? Well, we, we, our plans are about making it much easier for people to buy their own homes, so ending the system where the balance is tilted towards... Yeah, with respect, my question is, what would, what would happen to those that have got a second home under a Labour government? Well, uh, of course, people who've got second homes have got the right to buy second homes and the right to keep them, but one of the things that happened in the 1980s under Margaret Thatcher was that the system was changed so that it's actually much cheaper... And Angela Rayner benefited from it. ..by a second home. Well, Angela Rayner bought, bought a home under right to buy, which was different, but the Thatcher government changed the rules. So if you want to borrow 
to buy a second home to let it out, it's cheaper to do so than if you want to borrow to buy your own family home. And we think that that's wrong and that there are changes to the system that can be made to make it cheaper for people to be able to borrow, uh, as Canada has done, as other countries have done on an ongoing basis. OK. Um, so that people can can get on that housing ladder. It's what are you going to do about the triple lock? Michael what are you going to do about the pension the triple lock? We're committed to keeping the pension triple lock. We think that's a commitment that was made to pensioners by this government and they've planned accordingly. Um, if you've worked hard all your life uh, and you've paid in and you've done the right thing, then we think that you shouldn't have to grow old fearing uh, the lack of dignity and warmth that too many people do at the moment. So that's a commitment that we've made. Okay. And we hope the government will do the same. OK. Uh, and what about Thames Water? What would you do about them? Well, I've had ongoing company problems with water companies as a constituency MP, but I've also dealt with Thames Water and the, we've had serious problems with lack of investment, uh, sewage being pumped into our rivers and seas. What we want the government to do is, is end this ongoing dither and delay. They've said they'll consult on banning bosses of water companies from having bonuses um, if they breach their environmental regulations. I, we don't understand why on earth you would need to consult on that now. It's time to give you the regulator real powers in order to be able to do that. Good to see you. Thanks very much indeed for taking the time. Always appreciated.